First question, can you understand me without a mic? Yeah. Yes, you can, that's great. Yes, you can. With the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, maybe as I see in many, many young faces, I have one question to you before. Um, who is professional in internal communication and who is student? Just give me a sign. Who is professional in internal communication? Who is student? Oh, okay, good to know. It's good to know for me because I have here some slides with some studies and so I try to uh, go with you uh, into the topic um, together because <coughs> this question isn't that easy. Um, what we did is at our university to um, do some polls, some studies with companies, with PR agencies to ask, hey guys, what is the impact? of social media within change processes. Yeah, the impact of social media in change processes. That was our question. And, um, well, another question to you. Who already managed or experienced change processes in companies? Who managed or experienced change processes? Okay, that's a minority. <laughs> so, okay, good to know. Um, I try to find out for you what is the um, very challenge of change processes. Because um, the time of change is a very challenging time for internal communication. We heard at the very beginning from, from Steve that we have many, many, many um, yeah, perspectives to analyze the use of internal communication. And the time of change is to us a very, very interesting time because we can really uh, contribute and added value to the company. As we, a company, change processes with the idea to decrease resistance and to increase identification, for example. And that's why change processes are a very interesting time for us, for us as internal communication managers. And we asked uh, 70 experts in Germany from corporate communication departments, from PR agencies, hey, what do you think is the added value of social media and, in general speaking, with technical linked instruments of communication? Because, honestly speaking, we hardly don't know what is social media. Social media is anything and nothing. And that's our problem with the study here. This year is quite new, it's from last year. We polled 1,500 organizations and answering organizations 70. You can see um, the efforts we did to get any information on this. So we get a, a lot of information on that, what is social media. You know all of these tools and um, platforms and instruments. And I think we can transform them completely to each other. You have blogs, you have wikis, you have anything you like with the companies. But the question is, do you use them? And how do you use them to change processes? And so we did two steps to find out what we want to find out. The first thing was, hey company, are you close to technology-based manner of communication? Are you close to it or are you far away? That was our first step in to find out are you like to work with internet, with email? Um, you may think, hey, that's a crazy question, but it's not really standard. Yeah? Forget about all the books they said, hey, you can use these instruments. Yes, that's true, but the question is, do you really use them or not within companies? And you will see what happens um, when, when, I presentate, uh, when I present you the, uh, the slides to this. The second question was then, do you accept? Do you accept the tools of social media? You as a manager, do you like dialogue? Because that's an implication of social media. If we go to social media as a management instrument, you have to ask the management, do you like discussion on objectives, on strategies, on concepts? You know all the uh, methods you um, get in, the, in this first session, it's a management circle. Yeah, if you like to go into discussions, that's fine. But is it a stand of management today? 
good question. So first point, technical affinity. Do the companies uh, think they are close to technical communication processes and instruments? And you can see it uh, if you ask questions, uh, it's, it's fine, 80% say, yes, we are close to technical communication. Because maybe it's fine to be, yeah? um, the people like to hear them, hear them speak. And so it's interesting if you compare it with the very um, last uh, results we find, almost 80% say, yes, we are close to technique, and yes, we are close to, the, yeah, to social media, as an instrument of internal communication. When we ask, hey you guys, what kind of instruments you used? What do you mean if you are talking about social media? And there you get the complete range we heard from Anna before and from, from our other presenters today. For example, digital newsletters. Yes, very often, sometimes, almost 90% of the companies use it. Not really surprising. Um, if you look at other tools, you can um, see the slides here. E-learning, for example, it's going down. For example, here we are at about 65% who said, okay, e-learning, learning with web-based tools, belongs to social media and we use it. But if you look back to that, what social media may provide, to an, uh, to an organization, it could be identification by enhancing dialogue. And now we are going to a dialogue instrument like wikis, for example. Wikis are not just lexicon or something like this. Wikis may be collaborative working tools so that you can work out in a team with discussion, concept, or anything like this. And if you look at this instrument, we are going down to 37% no, who really use wikis within change processes. That means the 80% of the very beginning who said, yes, we are close to technical information and communication, are now breaking down to 30%. That's very interesting because now we have the first hints that social media as a management instrument isn't that accepted as it might be. So, interesting thing, what does it mean, first insights? Yes, we have a broadly range, a broad range of instruments that we use. That's true. But the question is, what do we, what do, we do with these instruments within change management, with internal communication? And that's the second part of it. Um, before I go to the second part, I want to show you how the cooperation is inside company between communication, personal, and the IT unit. Because there is no internal communication with social media without the IT department, because you can't work on your own. So we ask you now, hey, what's your relationship, your internal relationship between internal communication and the IT unit? And that was really interesting. And I skipped some slides now because I think I'm running out of time. Just give me an intro. Okay. Um, that's a very cheeky question. A very cheeky question. We, we asked um, the organizations, what do you think? Is your IT team a deprofessionalizing unit within change processes or not? A deprofessionalizing unit. And look at the answers. About one-third said, yes, that's true. Our cooperation internally is not really that good. And to me, I think that's reality. You know, it's just 70, 70 organizations. It's not representative of any right. It's a very in, uh, interesting uh, um, yeah, slide. And my experience in all of these change processes is, yes, we do a lot of communication. But sometimes it's not really meant like this. It's more a symbol of anything like this, but not really supporting management. So, and that's what I said before, even though the 80% of the poll com uh, companies claimed to be affiliated to technology, um, there's about one third who says, hey, 
we can't really work together with our IT unit because they don't really understand what they're doing. Very interesting. So, second step now is, does management accept social media as a social management tool? As a management tool that supports me during the change processes. So what do you think? Do they accept it or, do they do, or don't they accept it? Who thinks, yes, they accept social media as a management tool? Exception of social media? Give me a sign. Who accepts it? Who doesn't accept it? And the rest doesn't know. <laughs> Hello guys, okay, let's see. So, um, what we can do with the next slides here is um, to compare the acceptance between employees and management on the one hand, and on the other hand, very high or high or low or rejected. And you will see that there are many, many slides who say there is about one third who are rejected or don't accept really voting tools, for example. Acceptance of Voting tools, for example, low or rejective, it's about one third here on the right side. It's not really surprising to me because it's the next step you heard from the first point. It's the same as internet discussion, it's the same almost as with wikis, but you see the resistance rises. Now we're at about 50% of rejection. So, social media within companies, within change management, isn't that far as it could be. The other way around is there's a lot of potential for us. For us as internal manager of communication, um, there's a very, very range, a wide range of opportunities we can use. If we um, summarize this, what we heard before, there are about 20% who said, um, well, we, were, we did dialogue with management before without social media. Um, there are about 45% in the first line who said, yes, social media improved our change management. But there is about one third who said, oh guys, yes, we implemented social media, but there is no progress within change management. So you can see it's very interesting to ask um, um, yeah, closer questions and to re-ask what do you mean with social media companies. And um, the conclusion is here, um, we have a lot of tools we use, okay, that's true, but we have to change the culture, that's the same we heard before from Cascal, we have to change the management culture to use the efficiency of social media with an internal organization. That's all, thank you. I'm in time.